Hi, and thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be looking at lesson 6.1, Percents and Decimals. Today we're going to be writing down 11 things in our notes. Um, not a lot of, and from, uh, I guess, writing more say, a lot of practicing questions. It is super simple, so um, don't get frustrated as soon as you see that number 11. Um, so yeah, well, let's go ahead and get started and see what we're learning. The first thing we're going to do is write down how we write percents as decimals. Whenever we write percents as decimals, you always move the decimal two places to the left. Okay. One way you can remember it is deep. If you write the word deep, percents to decimals has to go back to the left. And notice you have to hop over two E's to get there. So that means there's two um, decimal movements to the left to change percents to decimals. Another way you can remember it well, as well as the alphabet. The letter D comes first and then the letter P comes next. Again, percents to decimals, you have to go back to the left to get back to D. So let's try a few questions. Oh, sorry. Make sure you pause this and write this down first before we go on. Thanks. So I'm going to try these and then you're going to try some by yourself. Again, you can use the word deep or the alphabet. So to write a percent as a decimal, I'm going backwards to the left. So I write 52. And then I would move my decimal twice to the left, wherever it was before. And then that's where my new decimal point is. So my answer would be 0.52 or 52 hundredths. Okay? Same thing for here. I'd write the number 7. The decimal point in the number 7 is at the end of it on the right. And I'm going to move it twice to the left. 1, 2. Notice here I don't have anything left here, so I'm just going to fill that with a 0. And that's going to give me my answer, 0 0.07 or 7 hundredths. Okay? Here are the ones that you're going to try. You're going to pause real quick, and you're going to try 2, 3, 4, and 5. Once you're done, click play to check your work. All right, here we go. So number 2, the number 24, 2 times to the left. My answer is 0 0.24 or 24 hundredths. For number 3, I have 3%, moving 2 times to the left. I should get 0 0.03 or 3 hundredths. For number 4, I have the number 107. 2 times to the left only gets me between the 1 and the 0, and that's fine. So my decimal is 1 and 7 hundredths. And then number 5, my decimal is already written for me, so I just start here, and I move it twice to the left. So I get 0 0.927, or 927 thousandths. How did you do? Make sure you go back and check your answers. If you messed up anything, please make sure that you rewrite um, the correct way. For the second part of our notes, we're going to look at writing decimals as percents. Again, you can use the word deep or the alpha. So again, if you're going from decimals to percents, you're moving twice to the right. Same thing with the alphabet. You have to go to the right to get from decimal to percent. Okay. Go ahead and pause the video right now so you can write down how to how to move the decimal, move the decimal two places to the right. I would also maybe write these two ways down because these are going to help you remember if you haven't written that down yet. Go ahead and click pause and then click play when you're ready to move on. So I'm going to try these for us and then you're going to try some. So we have 0 0.47. Remember to write decimals as percents. You can use the word deep or the alphabet. I have to go two places to the right to get from the letter D to the letter P. So I'm going to start with my decimal, 0.47, and scoot it once, twice, and I'll get 47%. Okay, or over here for letter B, I'd write my decimal, 0 0.663, move my decimal one, two places. It's going to stop right there in between the six and the three, so that means the percent will be 66.3%. Over here, I have the number 1.8, so I'll write 1.8 and move it once, twice, I'm going to fill up any empty spots with a zero, so my new number changes to 180%. And then over here for letter D, I would write down 0 0.009, moving one, two spaces to the right. It still stops there, so I'm going to have 0.9%. Okay, the next part you are going to try, so go ahead and pause the video now. Go ahead and write all decimals as percents. Click play when you're ready to check. All right, here we go. So for number seven, I'm just going to move the decimals right here. 
I'm going to move it once, twice to the right, because remember if we, if we use our keyword deep from D to P, it goes to the right. Two times, my answer for number seven is 94%. Number eight, if I move it twice to the right, fill up the empty spot with a zero, that's going to be 120%. Number nine, if I move it twice to the right, I would get 31.6%. And then number 10, moving twice to the right, I get 0.5%. How did you do? The last little part of this um, is a think about it question. So you're going to go ahead and pause the video now. Read it, try it. Once you're done, click play. Okay, it says for number 11, you get, on the math test, you get a 92 out of 100 points. That's a 92%. Okay, which of the following is not another way of expressing 92 out of 100? Well, we know that 92% is 92%. We also know that 0.92 would also be representing 92%. So the only thing we need to really check are these two fractions. Remember, with fractions, you can simplify. So if you took your calculator and um, cut 92 in half, maybe that's a good way you can start simplifying. You're going to get 46 fiftieths. I divide those by 2, okay, and we divide by 2 one more time. 46 divided by 2 is 23, and then 25, so this 23, 25th is representing 92%, so the only one that doesn't represent 92 out of 100 is C, 70, 17 over 20, okay? Um, and just make sure that you understand before we end this video, writing percents as a decimal, you can always move it two times to the left or think of the word deep or the alphabet, ABC, and then decimals as percents are going two times to the right, all, also using the keyword deep or the alphabet. Okay, that is going to conclude our notes for today. Just make sure you have those 11 things done. It wasn't that difficult. Um, and just go ahead and check in to see what you're up to next.